Ambassador Indyk, your response to that? I told you, Amy, I'm not here to debate Norman Finkelstein. That was not the ground rules that you uh, I'm talking about your uh, book. set that you set for uh, the inviting me on this program, and I'm, I'm not going to respond to his ad hominem But he's, he's talking uh, about, no, me, but we want to give you say, a chance to represent say, your own book. Look, yeah, uh, you know, uh, that's what I thought you were doing. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, seriously, uh, I hope uh, your viewers and listeners will read the book and make up their own minds. I uh, tried to give an honest accounting. Um, it's a self-critical book, and it's a, a book uh, in which um, my account of what happened uh, is critical of, uh, of uh, deeply critical of uh, the mistakes that we in the American peace team uh, made. Um, and, uh, but I do think that there, there is uh, enough blame to go around. Um, the book is also deeply critical of Ehud Barak, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, it tries to lay out in an, as honest a way as possible from somebody, yes, who had a, a, a catbird seat. I was involved in, in all of those negotiations, intimately involved. What were um, those mistakes, I've tried to, I've Ambassador tried to Indic? Account that, I've tried to account that honestly, and what uh, Norman Finkelstein has done is simply distort uh, my argument um, and uh, loaded, loaded it up with his usual uh, paraphernalia of uh, uh, legal resolutions and so on. Well, uh, but if people want to understand uh, uh, just how difficult it is to make peace, um, then I hope that they will, will uh, read for themselves rather than accept his uh, propaganda. Well, let me ask what you think should happen right now. How does Barack Obama not repeat the mistakes of the past, as you outline them in Innocent Abroad. Thank you. Uh, I think that uh, one uh, fundamental uh, lesson from uh, both the Clinton approach, which was to try to transform the Middle East through peacemaking, and the uh, Bush approach, which was essentially to try to transform the Middle East through war-making, regime change, and democracy promotion is that uh, Barack Obama, uh, while painting a vision of a peaceful uh, and secure uh, and normal region, needs to be very realistic and, and to level with the American people about what can be achieved. Um, both Clinton and, and Bush, uh, different in so many respects, sought to transform the region, sought to make it over in America's image. I think uh, Barack Obama needs to uh, have a more humble approach, uh, a less arrogant approach, um, uh, one that seeks to work with the region's leaders and peoples to try to help them move towards a more peaceful uh, world. Um, the American role is indispensable, but we need to be wiser, we need to be more flexible, we need to understand. Um, that uh, uh, there are, are huge differences uh, between us uh, and them, and uh, we need to pay a lot more attention to their uh, culture and their values and, and, and their politics, uh, rather than assume that they are like us. Um, and uh, that, that I know that's a very general proposition, but from that can come uh, the getting of wisdom when it comes to, to the details of, of peacemaking. Norman Finkelstein. They cannot achieve peace without us, but our role needs to be uh, much wiser. What do you think needs to happen right now, Norman Finkelstein? I think it's fairly clear what needs to happen. Number one, the United States and Israel have to join the rest of the international community, have to abide by international law. Martin Indyk dismisses this, what he calls a moment ago, these legalistic resolutions. I don't think international law should be trivialized. I think it's a serious issue. If Israel is in defiance of international law, it should be called into account, just like any other state in the world. And I agree on one point with Martin Indyk. Mr. Obama has to level with the American people. He has to be honest about what is the main obstacle to resolving the conflict. It's not Palestinian rejectionism. It's the refusal of Israel, backed by the United States government, to abide by international law, 
to abide by the opinion of in the international community. And the main challenge for all of us as Americans is to see through the lies. And regrettably, those lies are again being propagated by Martin Indyk in his book, with his pretense that it's the Palestinians and not Israel and the United States, which are the main obstacles to peace. Well, we're going to have to leave it there. I uh, thank you both for being with us. Norman Finkelstein, author of a number of books, uh, including Image and Reality of the Israel-Palestine Conflict Beyond Chutzpah and uh, the Holocaust Industry, and Martin Indyk. His new book is just out in this past week. It's called Innocent Abroad, an Intimate Account of American Peace Diplomacy in the Middle East. Thanks for joining us from Washington, D.C. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. When we come back, a major battle within one of the leading unions in this country, the SEIU, and it's coming to a head today. Stay with us.